Let's move now to this developing story. There's been a shooting today outside the Turkish mosque in Midrand, and I'm joined by our reporter there, Slindela Masikan. It's Lee, can you tell us what exactly has happened? Well, at this point, details, of course, still quite sketchy. We understand that this shooting took place just before 3 p.m. Uh, this afternoon, and we understand that a woman and her two children are involved uh, in this particular shooting incident. I'm going to ask my colleague, Didier Osilipa, to show you the visuals um, as we're seeing them right now. What we are trying to do, though, Sally, is to try and not show the viewers the car registration number, and that's because at this point, from what we understand from the police, is that the family uh, is yet to be informed about what has happened here. So what we have in terms of the details is the fact that uh, a woman was going to fetch her two, two children from the school just adjacent or across uh, from the mosque here in Midrand. And uh, this was just before 3 p.m. As she was leaving, she had picked up her little boy and her little girl. We understand that the ages are between 9 and 13. And uh, from also from what we understand is that uh, once she had picked them up, all of a sudden there was random gunfire. And it seems that some of the eyewitnesses believed or thought it may have it may have to do with taxi violence because there's also a taxi rank that's close by. But um, at this point, investigations are just underway to try and establish uh, what happened, who could have done this, what the motive is. But the police are just saying at this point they don't know whether it's a hit. Um, whether it was a hijacking gone wrong or whether this has anything to do mm. with taxi violence. What we also know, though, is that unfortunately one person has died. That is the little boy. Um, however, the woman is in hospital. She, at this point, we know that she's conscious, conscious but is not speaking um, and that her daughter, uh, thankfully, did make it out of this car alive. Absolutely horrific. So the news then that this little boy aged between 9 and 13 uh, has died. Uh, and if we look at that, uh, that car, it certainly looks like it was quite targeted, uh, directed into that driver's window. But of course, as you say, it's not clear uh, what the possible motive for this attack might have been. We're saying that it happened outside the mosque, but in fact the mum was there to pick up her children. Do we know at this stage if um, the mum was linked either to the mosque or if the school was linked to the mosque uh, or if it just happens to be where the school is? Yeah, those are, think, those are details, Sally, that were everybody at this point, especially the police, um, are trying to establish because you can imagine this happened just about two hours ago. Um, there are not a lot of witnesses who actually saw uh, the shooting happen. What they did see is the woman then subsequently driving off from the school. Uh, she actually drove quite a distance. I'm going to ask the dealer to show you. So the school is down this road, and to my left uh, is where the mosque is. Just at the bottom of the street is where the school actually is. So when the shooting took place right after she picked up her kids, she tried to get away and actually drove all the way um, up to this intersection here. And I'm at the intersection that, uh, that that's the R101. Um, uh, that's the main road just um, outside of the mosque. And so she managed to make her way all the way up here, but couldn't drive any longer. Um, and that is when police then were called um, as well as the emergency personnel. Absolutely tragic news. Uh, no idea. Thank you so much, Slindela Mazikana, in Midrand. Uh, so what we know so far is that a mother and her two children, she just picked up her two children from school. Uh, and it seems that uh, there were shots fired into the driver's side window. The mother continued to drive. She's in hospital this evening. Tragically, uh, the young boy has died. Uh, the little girl survived. We will get more information and bring it to you as soon as it comes uh, through to us.